Well, what's going on guys? It's your boy Sesame Rubens, a video here today. I bring us a brand new head to create your very own cool text effects for your thumbnails. So you guys might not know, but one of the main kind of questions I get for my thumbnails is, yo, Sesso, what do you do for your typography? What do you, what fonts to use? Things like that. So I'm in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys all the text effects that I use for basically main ones that I end up using with obviously, you know, changing things around when it comes to like how big I wanna have things, where I wanna place them. But overall, you're gonna have four different styles to go off of. Also in the description down below, you can also download all four of the actual, I have a PSD of all four of the text effects in there just that was so hard to say but yeah if you guys want to use those and download those you can be sure to do so so if you guys want to leave a like for that and uh one other thing as well in the description i got nominated for an award i'm now in a category known as esport creative slash creative team of the year uh it's freaking super dope to be nominated for something that i'm like so into and all that good stuff so if you guys want to support me in that kind of way the description or excuse me the link it is in the description you guys can vote for me love you guys and uh that's about it so enjoy yourself also i see all the freaking hand comments okay Stop talk I, I talk with my hands, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, that's it. I love you guys, enjoy yourself, and enjoy the video. All right guys, so first is the current August 2020 thumbnail meta, you can call it, and that's using text tags. I wanted to go ahead and get this one out of the way as it is super helpful for your thumbnail canvas if you just do not have room for a lot of text to be placed. All you have to do is pen tool an arrow shape loosely and fill it in with red. Then on a new layer below the red layer, pen tool another surrounding arrow that gets closer to the red arrow on some points and a little further at some other points just for stylistic reasons. Then fill the new shape in with white. After that, all you have to do is write your word of choice that relates to the actual video topic in the most dramatic way possible. So that probably means add some exclamation points and you got yourself a simple text tag. So next up is a style that I actually end up using religiously. This style allows the text to feel 3D as well as tossing a stroke around it for it to pop off a nice bright background. Simply have your stack of text or single text. And for quick reference, if you do have a stacking text like I end up doing, make sure that if you use white, your hex code is EFF3F5. It ends up being a nice offset white and then you can make your secondary color, whatever choice of color that you would like. Then you guys can double click on your white top text layer first and open up the layer styles. In the layer styles, use the inner shadow with a pure white as your main color with four distance, zero choke, and three size. This will give the text a nice simple highlight to it. And since you use an offset white, you should also be able to see pure white as your highlight color. Then you guys want to use a drop shadow with a darker tone than the white color, so that's pretty much obvious. You're going to be using gray. And have your distance start at 12, spread at 100, and your size at 1. This will automatically give your 3D text a nice cool back and to surround it. Then for your bottom text color, you want to do the same exact steps, open up your layer styles and use inner shadow 403 for the settings. And with your drop shadow, change the color to a nice darker tone than your original color. So for me, I have a nice pink. I'm going to go with like a nice darker pink and also have my distance at 12, my spread at 100 and my size at one. Then to finalize the effect, group the top and bottom text layer by pressing control to select both of them and then press control G to then group them. Then you want to just add one last drop shadow layer style to the group at 8 distance, 100 spread, 21 size, and then choose a color that is darker than everything on the inside. And I would say stay away from black tones. I would just say use a nice kind of color that you want to use. Let's say just pink in this case. I'm going to just take, take that pink and put it damn near kind of close to black, but just not there yet, just to give it some kind of tone. And then just like that, you guys are pretty much all done. All right, homie. So this next one is actually my personal favorite. I use it the most because all my content creators play a lot of different games, but I think it just fits in any game and actually ends up putting it in. Realistically, the only thing I end up ever changing when I'm doing this text effect is changing the font to change the mood. To end up doing this style, your top white text needs to be an offset color once again, so that is hex code EFF3, F5 for your nice offset white, and your bottom color once again can be any color of your choosing. With your bottom text color, make sure you guys make a new layer and then clippy mask that new layer to your bottom text. With the new layer, either choose a darker or a lighter color and then use a soft brush that is zero hardness by the way and glaze the bottom slightly on the text to give it a simple gradient. Once you guys have done that, there is no layer styles on the actual main text. But what you guys want to end up doing is grouping your text together and on that group layer, open up layer styles. First is inner shadow. Main color is white, distance is at three, choke at zero, and size is at two. With the angle at 90 degrees as well and the global light turned off. Second is actually another inner shadow. This time the color should be a lighter tone than your bottom text color. Blend mode on linear dodge add, angle at negative 90 this time, and distance at three, zero choke, and size at three. 
Afterwards, add an outer glow. You wanna put the blend mode on color burn and the opacity at 50%. The color itself should be whatever your bottom text color is, but once again, make sure it is darker. Then make sure your spread is at zero and your size is at 18. This will actually give our text a little bit of contrast, but you actually will not notice it until the next few steps. So for the last two layer styles, they are drop shadows. For the first one, the color is again darker than the bottom text color. Zero distance, 100 spread, and 17 size. Then the last drop shadow is nearing the same exact settings once again, but the color is darker than the actual drop shadow color previously. And that's seven distance, 100 spread, and 18 size. And after all those settings on your group layer, you have one of the cleanest thumbnail text effects in the game, and I promise you that. Okay, so for the last one today, it's a super quick one, and I have, of course, I had to put the classic method in here, because sometimes it's a valid text effect choice for the setting. And yes, for the record, it is as simple as it looks. So to get started, you want to have your text layers in a group, so control click on them to select multiple of them, and then press control G to then merge them together. Simply open your layer styles in your group layer, Use a drop shadow, color is on black, distance at 3, 100 spread, and 27 size. Then duplicate your drop shadow layer that you just ended up doing, change the color to also match the inside of the color you chose for the actual text, and then of course make the size a little bit bigger till it fits which kind of would like. It's quick, simple, and works for a lot of styles of thumbnails that you'll end up doing. And that is the end of the video here today. So once again, if you want to download the PSD that I have in the description down below for you guys that has all these styles in them, you guys go ahead and do so. And of course, like I said before, leave a like for that just because it's going to help you guys out. I think it's going to be something you just drag in from one PSD to another PSD when you're working on your actual thumbnail. So with that being said, I love you guys. I will talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And don't forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later. Much love. Peace.